6 o'clock already and I was just in the middle of dream do, 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 do. I was kissing Vanessa, formerly known as Valentino, prior to the life-saving, gender-reassigning bottom surgery do, 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 do. But I can't be late for then, I guess I just won't get paid do, do, do. Well, today is Aksha Day! And it's, um, Kotohin Day, Antique Day Um, so half of it, most of it is sort of Householdy sort of stuff and tools and stuff and um, and they also have after lunch they have um, the antique day and the weather is edit that out and the weather is but sometimes uh, when the weather is um bottom edit uh, edit edit that out <laughs> bottom out that one suspension bottomed out on that one anyways um sometimes when it's raining uh, when the weather is yeah. all right just add whatever words in there you want apparently it's gonna be okay after 10 ish 11 ish something like that um, sometimes when it's teeming down it's uh well, it's kind of good because some of the richy riches that don't need to be there don't have to be there don't go. <laughs> they don't stand out in the fucking rain. So, um, you know, poor seas like me um, sometimes get a real good deal. So, <laughs> six o'clock already, and I was just in the middle of a dream. Do dooby dooby dooby. I was kissing Vanessa, formerly known as Valentino. You know, you 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 get it. You got God. Typical of I. See, I went to buy a um. Because it's um, what month is it in May? Late May. Went to buy a calendar, and you can't buy a calendar at the hundred yen shop. And usually, I don't get around to getting a calendar till around at least late March. But this time, late May, so I don't really know what day it is or week it is or whatever. Anyways, so I go to the play, the play, master play. Oh yeah, uh, it wasn't antique day, or it's not antique day. It's not even lunch yet. Um. So I, oh, yeah, shit. <laughs> My mate sort of looked at me like, you yeah, stupid or something. <laughs> I'm like, but you know, I, I, I don't really know what day it is. <laughs> I accuse him of not knowing what day it was. <laughs> oh, this would be a nice staircase to go all mountain biking on, wouldn't it? Anyways, um, the play, can't see the play, boss. Um, so there was some stuff outside, not a whole lot because of the rain and all. And, and so um, I picked up some some things that'll be I reckon just really interesting. You, I, my didn't even get near what my budget is, so I'm happy with that. But when I was loading up, so I'm already, I'm already, I'm already loaded up. Oh, shit! What are we doing? Where are we going? What's going on right now? Um, yeah, already loaded up, and I'm just going to go back for lunch, and that will do. We'll go um, pay up and all. Um, my mate's like, oh, come and buy this bicycle, it, it's crap, you, you get it for cheap and you can fix it up and blah blah blah. I'm like, oh, I don't really want any more because I can't get any more on the rig anyways. So, um, bought just like these um, racks and things, they're quite popular and, uh, and uh, I know the Tunny fella wants them, um, I know that some other people want them. This young guy that uh, sometimes he comes around and sells, helps us sell things, he, I know he could get rid of them. So, it's worth coming because um, there's this big another mobile toolbox this big metal toolbox thing and it's even got electrical outlets and stuff you can plug it in and you've got like four maybe electrical outlets or whatever and uh, we sort of we my mate there and I we looked at it and he goes yeah they'll probably go up for about 150 bucks or something real big heavy bugger and uh, or it looks like a real big heavy bugger it's got this kind of frame thing around it, it's got these, it's on big caster wheels. I thought, right, oh, it's not some big American thing, it's, you know, it's about from here to here, <laughs> about this high. But it's a good unit. And um, and uh, the auctioneer started off at 20 bucks and everyone went quiet. They must have thought this, no one wants to pick that bloody thing up. And I'm like, because it was really early in the day, so where they've got to figure out how much can they get in their trucks and all this sort of shit and no one said it and I go okay <laughs> you know and um and I said oh yeah you know and everyone laughed I go I go lucky and uh 
they got a lot of the oxygen the oxygen in this area lucky now and uh, I go yeah so I've got this big bottle now I've got another one which is the same sort of thing um, sort of similar thing but uh, yeah I'm thinking you know I'll probably get around to playing around with more motorcycles and shit like that so they're really good for that sort of thing um, anyways uh, as I was loading up I was able to get I was actually able to get in there before all the stress happens and shit everyone's trying to uh, load up at the same time and all that get their trucks in all this shit and so I was able to just sort of I see one of the guys that uh, works I said oh shit there's a big space there I could probably come in and do a Yui and do a full U-turn and uh, load up and I'll be out of here soon enough he goes yeah yeah go, go get your rig and I'll run it and uh and so I did that real low stress so I took it to another place and then I figured I'll do some more um tie down type of stuff bungee cord oki straps and um as I was doing that I had to sort something out with my rig to get the tailgate to close so I went and got my toolbox I'm messing about with this um pair of moldy grip grips got that done I've got these clips on my toolbox and I put a bit of wire in there and bent that over just to you know, curl that up and just to sort of uh, make sure it doesn't come open and um but as I was sort of doing that I was going a bit quick and luckily I'm a freaking immortal that's for sure because um the wire went way over half an inch straight through into there and out the other side and now I'm thinking shit uh, that wasn't too good luckily it's stainless steel anyway so I don't have to worry about tetanus and being immortal anyways it doesn't matter but I'll tell you that to think about sort of pain is kind of like it's the, that cringy kind of feeling where you your um your face crinkles up a bit thinking oh shit and uh thinking about the actual in oh, just thinking about the actual injury the accident happening like you know uh scratching your fingernails down a freaking chalkboard oh, uh, that's kind of how it feels like but um decided wash hands but not to wash this region because it was stainless steel and i figure what i'll do i won't irritate it i'll just give it a chance to sort of close and it's already closing yeah and drinking with us are you yeah, what's wrong Dugan? Do Dougal or whatever. Uh, yeah, la, yeah, last night. All but a corpse. <laughs> He's got Lucifer in him. He's got the devil in him. He's a Lucifer. <laughs> Some shit like that. But anyways, um Um, yeah, bad quoting. Um Yeah, just thinking about it. don't think about it and then it would be fine. Yeah, the wire straight through there and out the other side. Nice! <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> what was that? The, the movie Supercross. Okay, not the greatest film in the world, but I liked it. Um, uh, when she gets hurt and it goes, oh, that, that was a good one. Uh, something like that. Anyways, I'm just babbling because I'm going to go down to the the, uh, the 7 Eleven Ikibuti and uh, the ATM there. I spent just in US bucks I spent probably I don't know, 100 bucks and I, I bought this one crate for like 15 bucks it's got all this stuff in there Genjo as is and I knew it's this problematic stuff I'm thinking what's in that big Makita box maybe um, couldn't get to it to sort of open it up and find out what it was so I've had my guesses and all big electrical tool thing there, there was another jackhammer I'm like oh fuck not again <laughs> I've had 50 50 success in repairing those things um but uh yeah this, this jackhammer thing anyways and uh the other stuff was just sort of could you call it garbage you know i'm looking at it and I'm going, why did i buy that shit <laughs> you know yeah you get it cheap because that's shit but sometimes you find treasures right so um okay some things are useful i think the tunny fellow would like to have some of those anyways useful stuff so uh, that's that. Um, so basically, I'm just going to get some dough and come back and pay up a bit of. We uh, we all get a feed, and one of my mates might give me another, give me an extra one. Like, yeah, yeah, Darren, take that. So, so that's good. Um, 
so now I just get to stroll, but uh, yeah, I've got this uh, oh, I've got 24 minutes to get back there, that's fine. Um, I've got this uh, right, three, two, two racks that are the same. One rack that's disassembled, a smaller one, which is sort of an extra, so that's good. One rack, it's sort of like you got two racks on the bottom and this um, clothing hanger type thing, stainless steel thing. Um, pretty reasonable unit. I mean, people sort of need them. The tiny fella needs that sort of shit to hang, put all his crap up. Um, anyways, uh, and I did manage to get a 200 kilo. Um, kilo winch so it might work it didn't say genja and i think the thing might work it's just got a bit of a funky kind of socket on it i've seen the type uh so we just have to wrangle something like that could be one of those ones that's got a flip you can just whack it in i think it runs on 100 volts so uh, i've got that got that at a pretty reasonable price i reckon so um, yeah, all up, I didn't pay a lot for this shit because just so early when they started selling the racks and shit, and people are thinking, mm, how much am I going to get in my rig? They're probably looking at other stuff, going, all right, I wouldn't mind having that, 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 and that. And so they got to sort of figure out in their heads how much of this big shit are they gonna are they gonna take, right? So um, these uh, racks you can disassemble them it takes too much time to disassemble them when you're actually there on the day why am I discussing all this shit no one cares about this story but I'm pretty pleased uh, bought some good shit for cheap totally fucked up with which day is which and I need a couple of calendars <laughs> Japanese time calendars not Western calendars is Japanese calendars which they had to change by the way uh, due to some bloody bulldust um because they chuck in the random holiday they go oh, let's fuck with Darren we'll just stuck that, stick that holiday in there on a Wednesday yeah but it's a Wednesday yeah yeah chuck it in there we'll fuck with Darren's brain so I need one of those calendars <laughs> that's that okay so um right when I was um when I was um, loading the stuff, I think, right, this is going to be the least stressful time to start packing the shit, right? Loading up before everyone sort of the mad rush. And uh, and I get it, I'm loading some shit, my hands are dirty from that toolbox that picked up the bottom, I turned it over, put the thing in power, I'm measuring how the fuck am I going to get it in there in the first place? And, um, and then I get a call. <laughs> I'm like, God damn it! But it was okay. A quick call. Oh, and I answered. I could hear the bloke, and then it, the reception went to shit. And I was like, yeah. it's, they're fucking. Yeah. They find it amusing. Um, but that was alright. Got that sorted out in like 10 seconds, and then back to it. See? Stress is a real thing, I know. Um, yes. Ooh. This is starting to heal already. And last night, all but a corpse. Come. Oh no. Well, that solved that issue. I've got um two calendars now. <laughs> uh, my mate goes, I mentioned shit, I wish I had a calendar. And uh, so I'm leaving early today. And uh, my mate goes, um, uh, they've probably got some still here. They hand them out every year. They, they give them to you, and and uh, they probably still got some in the office. And he went and asked one of the office girls, and, and I said, "Oh, you haven't got two, have you?" <laughs> there you go. Boom. That solved that issue. All right. Now we are um, we are ready to rock and roll, as they say. It's really rad how they fly over you, nigh on over you. When you get, we're gonna turn left over here on this big berm, a <laughs> berm, and uh, it's really cool when they fly over you when you're there. There's a nice spot down there actually that um, you can you can just hang there, drink beers, and as the planes come in and fly over you. 
Alright, my uh, mate gave me some extra rice right there, so Crowy's got to be happy. We'll go to the warehouse tomorrow. Okay, uh, yeah, early afternoon, I'm heading back already. Good stuff, good stuff. A totally, pretty much totally no stress day so far. <laughs> That's rare. Well, I have it on good authority that that truck that I just continue to slow down so I don't go near it. Um, that, when that passed me, I was in the tunnel back there. Had the windows up, but I had this vent open. And uh, I am certain I have it on good authority that it's got um, peaks in it. And by God, I did the smell of it. It's happened a few times on this road. You know, the freaking stench goes for like an entire kilometre. It reminds me when I went up in the trucks up to Sydney from Melbourne with this bloke. Like two o'clock in the morning, we went, we went in this eerie, windless, dead flat kind of plains. And um, I'm, I remember looking over this bloke called Larry and I said, mate, what the fuck is that smell? And he goes, oh, that's the influence plant. And he just laughs and he knew it was coming. And for miles, it just smelled this freaking effluent plant. And that's the same as these um, trucks that carry peaks. They, um, the stench is horrendous. And uh, so, uh, what do you do if you wind the windows down to get more stench? If you wind everything up and close off the bench, you've got the stench inside the cab. So, what do you do? And so um, you're hoping for a crosswind, but with all this stuff, it was just direct wind coming back at me. So um, that's good. I hope the truck behind me's not a. No, that's okay. Well, that's all right. He's a dirt carrier. <laughs> uh, the other one would. Um, so, anyways, we started to get some crosswind from there. So uh, there's the full floor of the car over there. Um, started to get some crosswind, and I so quickly wound the windows down to get that stench out of there. Woo! Hello, okay. Righto, finally back. Going out for time here. What have we got here? Uh, oh, blokes tell me, oh, he received the things. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, I'll check that out later. Uh, Righto, we got a. Uh, so not quite two o'clock. So let's see what we got here. Uh, yeah, jackhammer that don't work, and that means Genjo, which means as is. <laughs> um, we've got this thingy here, which is a, a thing, and it's got Genjo, which means as is, so there's probably something wrong with it. We've got a bin, there's even a lid there somewhere. Yeah, we've got a bin, great. We've got this electrical componentry thing that says it's um, Genjo, which is um, something's wrong with it. So, um, oh! Spark plug gap adjust. Spark gap test. All right, checking the spark gap test. All right, of a, is it for cars? Oh, all right. You stick a plug in there, and that tells you how, what the gap due to how much power you put into it. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, oh, it might be just a fuse that's fucked. Um, we'll see. Some junk. I've got this shelf here and one on the other side, which is the same size. That's good. It's kind of spitting a little bit, which is wonderful for these. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six connections. I might just put something over that uh, so it doesn't Oh, it's brass, it won't matter. Oh, copper. Um, right, you switch there. Uh, this, yeah, this dealie here. Look at this framework around here. Real solid beast. And it's got some dealies on, on the other side. It's got this top thing you take off, and you've got shelves and all kinds of shit. This is what a unit. Got that for 20 bucks. Hey, eh? and casters and all. It's going to be great. Fill that up with tools. This unit here is the same. That's the other one on the other side. That's good. A few bits and pieces out of this Genjo. I think there's something wrong with that too. So, I don't know. The Tunny fella will be happy to get some junk for scrapping. Um, but I think I bought that crate for 15 bucks for shit. That, if I can get that jackhammer to work, that'll be fine. Might have to strip it and see how we go. Got a few bits for it that might feed. We'll see. 
another junk box, whatever. Got this, this one, this dearly wheely here, and a bag of stuff for those plasticky things you put in there. I think I've, yeah, I've got those poles there. I think I've got all the bits for that, so I might have to keep that one. Down in there is a, um, that's a, uh, it's good for 200 kilos, so it might work. <laughs> um, that electric, uh, a little electric crane there, um, the, the other one we had shit itself, so we'll see. Oh yeah, this dealer here, is a nice solid surface there, you put your tools and do your work, and like carburetors or whatever, strip them and do that work on top there. Uh, that's good, so... Uh, and this one here is like for a wardrobe type of dealy wheelie where you hang your gear on there. So um, uh, I know the Tunny fellow will be keen on that, that's for sure. Uh, for his uh, shit that he takes to markets or whatever. If you can just put that in his rig, the tall rig, and then just put a whole bunch of stuff. And then you can just take it straight out like that. So I think he'll be keen on that. Um... Because he asked me to get some of this sort of stuff a while back. Apparently this thing here doesn't work. It's a pity because these batteries are usually worth like a hundred bucks. It's an 18 volt or... I have no idea. If it's not this USB thing, you might be able to charge it by USB. So... Um, who knows? But yeah, I've got some shit that I, I don't want. don't know what's in that. Um, don't know what's in that. I haven't even bothered to look in that. I reckon it's just crap anyway. So I should not have bought that junky shit. <laughs> junky shit. Yeah, I'm not even going to bother to look in there. That's just crap. Yeah. You can just stay in there. But anyway, that was the least stressful day. Yeah, look at this unit, man. Oh. Belfast building so some mechanic like is to own this big beast. What a unit! I like it. I'm like it. Yeah. All right. Uh, got this side table thing here and another thing that comes off it. What a unit! Even got a light to show you when your power is on. And nice. Okay. Uh, I'll fucking do that today. Elemental forces caused the egg to hatch. From it then came a stone monkey. The nature of monkey was irrepressible.